Today, from State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona, this is Madden NFL 21. We'll see Kyler Murray and the Arizona Cardinals taking on Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. Thank you, Coach. We are about 15 miles west of downtown Phoenix at State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. It's certainly hot outside here in the desert, but somehow this Cardinal crowd turned up the heat a moment ago. They were in a frenzy as their team emerged from the tunnel, and the Cardinals, they're set to do battle with Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. Greg Zerline now, he'll handle the honors to get us started. And we are underway here on EA Sports. And able to get this out to the 25. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. They will be led out by the Heisman Trophy winner from 2018, drafted number one overall the subsequent year, Kyler Murray. What I enjoyed this week is that you asked to talk to his offensive center before the game and find out a little bit more about him and what the relationship is. And that was a pretty positive story, wasn't it? Yeah, and really what I took away from that is just how it has permeated throughout the entire offensive line, the relationship they've had. It's really a group that's in sync. They care about him. That's the thing. They really care. And when you care that much, you're going to play that much harder for him and give him a better chance to lead the team to wins. A first carry now for Chase Edmonds. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. On the tackle, it's Randy Gregory. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Now Murray off play action. Looking left side, and it's complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. First and ten, here's Murray. And this one caught by Max Williams. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Looking to throw again on second down. Murray, the catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, 
and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice. Murray fighting, lost the football, and the Cowboys have recovered. So here come the Cowboys out of the field with excellent position to get things started. It's the Mississippi State product at quarterback calling the shots will be Dak Prescott. When he came out of college, I thought his best attribute was being able to break the pocket and make plays in the open field. But watching him develop over the years, you see a guy who can stand in the pocket and deliver excellent throws into tight windows. carry for Ezekiel Elliott and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage two yards the loss second and 12. That was well played there defensively two tight ends in the formation which essentially gave them seven blockers up front hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through but that's exactly what happened a loss resulted. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. And this one drops incomplete, but I think the defense jumped. Man, that ain't made no sense. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. And the ball moved up here now to second and seven following the penalty. Now Prescott. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him? without weakening our overall defense. You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. They'll run with Elliott. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A 13-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys have taken the early lead. Great call to hand that one off. And his running back did the rest. Someone read their keys correctly. And on the defensive side of the ball, they certainly did not because they really essentially were just going to swarm the quarterback. They kind of guessed themselves out of the play. And guess who benefited? The guy with the football.
Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. Five plays there on that drive. And it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. So you can have an empty possession, punt the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. And this one caught along the sideline, but they say already out of bounds. Now the throw didn't give him a chance to turn it upfield, and that brings up second down. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. And once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Throwing again, Murray. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 12 yards there and a first down. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Play action. Now it's Murray. This one complete to Christian Kirk. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. The catch and run pays off to the tune of 35 yards. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Throwing again, Murray. And completes it to Kirk over the middle. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. Seems as if the passing attack's starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. That is caught at the seven yard line. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air, because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. Here's second and one now from the seven. Now Murray again. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the Cardinals are just an extra point away from tying this game.
Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. Now Matt Prater for the point after. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. That time, a six-play drive. And the play that polished it off was the touchdown run by Kyler Murray. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. Able to hit his target, Lamb. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Three yards the gain there, second down. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Cowboy first down. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Elliott. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. He'll find Lamb, that's complete. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Seven yards there and a first down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. We remind
remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. Now a dump off here complete. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. It'll be a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Prescott urging his guys to go quickly. They need to get up and set. Throwing again on second down. Prescott over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 19. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. Well, every now and then I can speak from experience because I do know as a defender, it is awfully hard to stay with your man on these crossing routes because even if you don't get picked, there's a danger of being picked either by one of their receivers or maybe by your own defender. And on that play, that worked quite well. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, Prescott. That is caught at the 7. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Fifteen more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Well, they obviously red man coverage their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Bro? Yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. To the air again, Prescott. Step, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out, and the Cowboys have taken the lead. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Zerline now for the PAT. He's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drive, 80 yards, nine plays. And it results in a four-yard touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. Murray now on first down. Being chased out left. And he's going to keep it here. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Right there, 
to throw again on second down. Murray, that's complete to his running back, Connor. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Out of the gun, here's Murray. He'll get that one complete to Connor. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Now we're at the 41, second and nine. From the gun, Murray. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Again, they'll throw with Murray. They'll get this to his running back, Edmonds. Oh, Edmonds has it knocked loose. And the Cowboys have recovered. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Not much there, only a yard. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. To throw is Prescott, and that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. Blake Jarwin, the intended receiver, and it's third down. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Here's Prescott. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. And yeah, we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. Here's Brian Anger now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. He'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We were treated to a fine first half from Dak Prescott. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half.
The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. The throw right side is complete here on the first play of the drive. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Elliott toss right. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Again, it's Elliott, and he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Here's Elliott. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. On second down, it's Pollard. And he's going to be stopped up just short of the first down at the Cardinals' 42. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that to make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. Third and short yardage, Prescott into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 39, past the 20, and they will finally run him down, but not until he brings this one all the way back down inside the 10-yard line. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind, and we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. Suddenly, it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. Check, 
And the Cardinals are going to be set up with a first and goal. He couldn't quite reach the chalk, but they'll have it at the one-yard line. And a lot of times, these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. Second and goal from the one. They'll try to run it. This is Connor. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. James Connor able to take this in from a yard out. And the Cardinals are just an extra point away from tying this game. That almost looked too easy. And I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Prater on to add the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. They had the short field and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And this will make it into the end zone. Pollard elects to keep it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The Dallas offense back out onto the field, and their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and 10. shake off the interception he'll look to throw the cards get to him here he's brought down for a sack Jordan Phillips picks up his second sack of the afternoon that's the second sack of the game the best defensive ends they do their homework as much as offensive guys do they know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them what moves they need to do to set them up this guy's been pretty good at it all game long Assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Another try after the first down sack. Prescott. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Isaiah Simmons in there to drop him and sacks on first and second downs. Now leads to a third and long. for his running back and he's got him and he'll be brought down at the 28 and that is well short of the first And that 
is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Here's Brian Anger now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. It'll be a 10-yard return following a punt of 45. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity, all tied in the fourth quarter. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their 35-yard line. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And finally brought down at the 38. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 38. On first and 10 is Connor. Evades the tackler and now some space. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. It's another first down on what'll be a gain of 21 yards. They've kept him in check until that run. That's the first time he's really gotten loose in this game. And they have to keep that in mind. Don't dwell on the fact that he finally had a big run. You kind of are counting on that as the game went on. Get back to what you were doing before. Start limiting him again. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Now he's flushed out left. Now he'll pull it down. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. And that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Second down and three. Shotgun now for Murray. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. A five-yard gain there makes it first and goal. They'll come out in the pistol. From the gun, Murray. They'll roll it under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. Set, set. On any first and goal, the real estate to work with for the offense is really cut down, and the defense knows it. So they often bring heat and pressure, which they did on this play. Got him down for a loss, not a big one, but any loss of yardage in this position is tough for an offense. It's second and goal, back to the eight-yard line now. Operating from the gun, Murray. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. From eight yards out, and the Cardinals have broken the tie. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play, even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor, in effect. Now Prater to add the PAT. 
It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. So the drive there took six plays, and the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. This is Tony Pollard. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. <laughs> so Dak and the Cowboys down 21-14. Two minutes, 30 seconds to play. Plenty of time here. They've got three timeouts and the two-minute warning as they've got it first and 10. Pressure comes and the Cardinals bring him down. Jordan Phillips giving him once again his third sack of the afternoon. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. The reception good for seven. It's third down. This is where, of course, it's good to have a veteran quarterback under center. You would just be able to put on one of those blood pressure clips, and nothing would be different for him. He's done it many times before, expects to get it accomplished again. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. They'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. We've seen that the deep ball has been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. Now Prescott, and unable to break away. They stop him a few yards shy. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. Then the Cardinals will now take over with excellent field position. So now let's reset here, Charles. They do have two timeouts left, so they can stop the clock twice. This one's not quite over yet. No, and what you're doing on defense, you're going to use both timeouts, obviously. But you've got to call defenses are going to force the issue early, meaning you want that play over fast. You don't want to give them time to dance around in the backfield or run a wide sweep that'll take off time. Blitz them, put pressure on them, make sure that play ends quickly so that you can go ahead and keep moving.
From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Edmonds running out of the shotgun. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. As they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. Second and six. From the gun, a give to Connor. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. It's a gain of five, and now the question, will the offense stay out there on fourth and one? When a good play is made on defense, oftentimes leverage is the key to everything. Defensive line not getting turned, all the other guys making sure they're in the right spot, and on that play, they were able to stop them short of a first down. Cliff Kingsbury, part of that new breed of head coaches, and his guys are going to go for it. They'll run for it with Connor, and he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. So it's a win here for the Arizona Cardinals. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. It's a win for the Cardinals as we say so long from Glendale.